Montana archery. Let's see if we can't find a good buck today. Saw two last night in velvet. Nothing really big, no shooters really, but let's find them today. So far, it's a lot of antelope, um, does, <clears throat> doe mule there, and uh, some road hunters. Um, but other than that, no big bugs yet. So we're gonna move, switch glassing points, see if we can find them. This book looks decent. It's wider. Yeah, it's the biggest book we've seen yet. Even if he is just a three. seen a lot of bucks this morning so far. Um, a lot of little or smaller bucks. Some still in velvet, some hard horned. But I did spot one buck over this way, long ways off. Um, looks pretty wide, looks like a more mature, mature buck. But uh, I'm not sure if he's crab front on his front forks or he doesn't have them at all. Would like to get a closer look at him, but he's the biggest one we've seen so far. So we're gonna head a little over there to see if we can get a closer look. But there's antelope everywhere today. A lot of hunters too. So we're just gonna play by ear and hopefully watch one of these big bucks bed. Opening day. Supposed to be a hundred degrees today, so taking advantage of the little shit I got here while I'm glassing. But got a buck spotted, but he just needs to move. <clears throat> well, we found some more bucks. Uh, looks like they're just outside of public, um, but decent four point and a uh, three point. <clears throat> And that wider uh, four point with crab forks. He's bedded. Um, they're all bedded really right now, but they're on the west side. And that sun's about to hit them and they'll go around and get on the east side. So we'll wait for that and then make a move. day today but working up this way um, getting a better look at these two bucks I saw earlier um, one I can tell is a for sure velvet kind of tight rack four point the other one I can't really tell what he is he's either really big and goofy or just small and goofy but uh, taking a little break here in the shade kind of resupply get some hydrate recover and some 4d in me and then we'll work up there see what happens and hopefully uh hopefully be arrowing a buck if that big that other one's big we'll see sun is setting on day one Yep, just watching the sunset on day one. No arrows fired. Um, no real big shooter bucks. But tomorrow's a new day. Got a couple more days, so hopefully we'll turn up something. Stock on those bugs. 
books just for fun. Uh, couldn't convince myself to shoot that for a point, but I uh, just do it right here. But I haven't relocated that big buck and I haven't seen any other deer that are on public that I can hunt, so any bugs, I guess. So we might be moving on, we'll see. End of day two. Saw the forky buck right back by the truck. Um, and that was the only buck we saw tonight, so might be heading to some new country tomorrow. Um, but then we got to back, head back to Missoula. Not how I want an opening weekend to go, but there's still tomorrow morning. And if I do find something big, I'll stay on it until I have to leave. <laughs> Get some breakfast going, coffee and some oatmeal. We're gonna head to Glassy Knob and hopefully glass up buck and make a plan for the day. Stay tuned. Real smoky today, but uh, spotted three bucks, two potential shooters, and uh, they're a long ways off. So I'm gonna go try to. They went out of sight, so I gotta go hustle up over here and see if I can't get eyes on them again. Watch them bed. Rattlesnake. Well, they got down in that bottom. I worked down there quite a ways. And uh, came around the corner. Wind was bad, but I thought I could get away with it. Thought of it just swirling down to the bottom there, but didn't beat it. And they winded me, and they were gone. Went over the ridge, and I had the, a three point that was with them at 50 yards. I couldn't shoot them. And then I don't know where they went, so they beat me again. Might even be a whitey shed. Nice. Do a quick pickup on this guy. Ooh, I think it was a whitey. For sure. White tail. Nice. It's the first white tail run I found this year. Checking out some new country, but uh, seen one doe pick up that shed, but it's just midday, so everything's bedded. This is pretty thick, brushy stuff, so I think if there's any bucks in here, they're bedded in there. Kincaid's up in the mountains. Uh, I'm gonna meet him in there either this afternoon or maybe tonight. Depends if I wanna stay here, watch this and see if there's any good bucks, but um, gotta go in there and get a camp set and I'm gonna try to help him get a bull, so we'll see. Just poke along, find a good vantage, and make a decision. buck in the new spot is a three by two. Cow just pushed them out of the brush. But hopefully we'll see some more.
back out chasing muleys. We are uh, out here solo. We got a couple days to try to get it done with the bow still. And then we got some uh, some rifle tags coming up, so we'll be heading out with the rifle, but I'd like to get it done with the bow here first. Got some does and fawns up here. Just jumped them out of their bed. No bucks though. spotted a shooter. Really nice four point, kind of tight rift, but deep, deep forks. Um, but he's a long ways off. It's getting dark. Um, it's probably 30 minutes away again right now, so I don't know if we'll make it there in time. He's on the border of private and public, so I don't really want to push him while I'm out tonight, so I think we'll just sit here and watch him and see if we can morning. I just was getting my pack ready, grabbing the bow, and uh, there's a big group of deer, about 150 yards from the truck. Three bucks, all smaller. Two uh, little four points. I think I've seen them both before, but uh, there's three point two, but nothing like the one we saw last night, so let's try to find him first. But I'm going to walk around these deer so I don't smoke them. Well, I found that target buck this morning, but he was on the edge of public, and I, uh, I tried to get in a little closer, but, uh, he, like, he's just, he's just a nervous buck, so he took off. He didn't even really see me or nothing. He just took off in the other direction, so he's gone. I can, I tried to watch him, but he disappeared. Well, we got a bunch of deer that came in, uh, investigated me this morning, <laughs> but there's a decent 3x4 that I saw here before, so I might try to make a move on him here in a minute. Well, it didn't work at the last spot, so we're trying something new. I uh, just got in on a, a whitetail buck. I saw a butt go into that brush. But uh, I was just hoping it was a mule deer buck. But I got in there and it was a decent one, white tail buck. Um, I mean, if you would I mean, you'll see in the video, he let me get pretty close, but he would offer me a pretty good shot. I, don't, I think I might have took him, but because I only have a couple days of on, so. But I got all rifle season. I just gotta get an antsy. I wanna shoot some of my bow.
kind of a slow morning. Uh, the sun was not in my favor for glassing, but uh, we saw a lot of deer. It's just uh, nothing real big. I saw a decent three point and uh, one four point. I'm gonna go try to look at uh, that four point a little closer, but a lot of country is just not a whole lot of big bucks. So we'll go check it out and might regret not shooting that white tail. <laughs> 